गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन हाउ आर यू आई होप एवरी वन इज़ फाइन फिट एंड हेल्दी एट देअर प्लेस स्टे एट योर प्लेस डू नॉट गो आउट बिकॉज इट इज़ ऑल कोविड आउटसाइड स्टे इन एंड एन्जॉय कीप स्टैंडिंग सो वेलकम बैक आफ्टर द एग्जाम्स आई होप योर एग्जाम्स वेंट वेल यू ऑल आर गोइंग टू स्कोर गुड मार्क्स इन योर एग्जाम्स सो माई सेल्फ पूजा अरोड़ा so i'm going to take english grammar subject from now onwards okay so i'm going to introduce myself in the this video session tomorrow we will be this taking class then i'm going to introduce myself so let us start with the chapter so this is the chapter of english grammar this is lesson number 15 prepositions prepositions this is the lecture number 1 and it is from your pc rens grammar book term 3 so the prepositions what do you mean by preposition prepositions position positions means sthan sthan so it basically tells us the position of something noun it tells us the position of a noun noun do you know what is noun noun is a name of a person place animal thing this is the name of a person place animal thing so preposition tells us where is the person where is the place where is the animal or where is the thing it basically tells us the position of something kisi cheez ka sthan batata hai hame that is preposition fine so let us start prepositions prepositions are the words that we use before nouns or प्रोनाउंस नाउंस और प्रोनाउंस से पहले यूज़ करते हैं टू शो देयर रिलेशनशिप विद ईच अदर इन द सेंटेंस सो प्रपोजिशन शोज द रिलेशनशिप विद ईच वर्ड इन द सेंटेंस सो वॉट यू हैव टू कीप इट इन योर माइंड आपको सिंपल सी बात अपने दिमाग में रखनी है वट इज़ प्रपोजिशन प्रपोजिशन आर द वर्ड विच आर यूज बिफोर द नाउंस और प्रोनाउंस एंड इट टेल्स इट शोज द रिलेशनशिप विद ईच वर्ड इन द सेंटेंस fine so the one example is let us take an example i am sitting on a chair so over here what is a noun chair is a noun over here fine so before it we are using a preposition on we are using a preposition on on this the position of the chair fine i am sitting on the chair i am walking i am walking to her fine her this is this is her it's a pronoun so before pronoun we are using a preposition to fine so it is basically the position of something so these are the prepositions of we are going to study of location of direction and time we are going to study the position of lo preposition of which are related to location which are related to direction which are related to time So let us start. Now let us go with some examples. Look on these pictures. All of you have to look on these pictures. See, it's owl. Owl is on this box. It is telling the position of this owl. It is on this box. So on is the preposition over here. Next is under. On means per. किसी per. Under. Under means के नीचे. Owl is under this box. next to next to fine the person is sitting next to saath mein uske next owl is next to this box in front of ke samne so the owl is in front of this box through through means ke dwara the owl is passing through this box <coughs> sorry around around means charo taraf uske charo taraf The owl is running around this box, taking round around this box. <coughs> sorry, sorry, very sorry. Between, between means दो के बीच में. Means the owl is between these two boxes. Behind, behind means के पीछे, किसी के पीछे. The owl is behind the box. So these are prepositions. They are telling us the position of the owl. with the box fine they are telling us the position of the owl with the box 
Next is, look at this beautiful picture over here. There is a duck in the pond. Fine. So put the duck in the pond. In means may. There are two prepositions in and into. In and into. In means may. Into means ki andar. When something is at rest. Ruka hua hai, rest mein hai. Like the duck is at rest. We will use in. When something is in motion. Agar kuch hil raha hai. So we will be using into. Fine. There are two prepositions in and into. In we use when something is at rest. Into we use when something is in motion. Like for example, the coin fell into the pond. Jab wo girega, tab wo to hilta hua hoga na. Or one more example I would like to tell you. The frog jumped into the pond. When at the time of jumping, it will be in motion. Fine. But is it in motion? Is this duck in motion? No. So we are using in. The pencil is in the bag. The chapati is in the box. Fine. The so when in is used when something is at rest. Into is used when something is in motion. Now over. Over means ke upar. Kisi cheez ke upar. There is a surface. And there is a less distance. Over and above. These are two preposition over and above. In over, we have the distance with the surface is less. In above, the distance with the surface is more. So this is near. Preposition is near. Near means pass. The chair is near the table. The chair is near the table. Fine. Next is above and below. So above, keep your hand straight and keep a pen above it. This is a base and this ball is above it. Above ke upar. Kisi cheese ke upar. And below means ke niche. Kisi cheese ke niche. Below it. Above it. Fine. Now look at this picture and think of the right answers. First, the dog is dash the kennel. It is in the kennel because it is at rest. Fine. The dog is in front of the canal. In front of. The dog is at the corner. Fine. The dog is above. The dog is running behind the dog. Another dog. The dog is behind the house. Canal. The dog is on the canal. The dog is in between the canals. Two. Fine. The dog is standing near the kennel. Are you getting? So these are all the preposition which tells us about the position of something. Now look at this beautiful picture and try to understand it in more with the examples. This is Sanjeev's room. So this complete room belongs to Sanjeev. Sanjeev is in the bed. Is he in motion? No. It is, he is in rest so it is in the bed his books are in the back his books are in the back ke andar. there is a clock on the table table per hai clock his shoes are under the table table ke niche hai table ke niche hai shoes his mother is at the door to wake him up at she is at the door at is basically used for small places. In. Now look over here. In shows the relation between the bed and the Sanjeev. Fine. This you have understood. In over here in second sentence. Shows the relation between the bag and the books. Next is on. On shows the relation between the table and the clock. And next is under. Under shows the relation between the table and the Shoes, the stable and the shoes at shows the relation between the mother and the door. So, words such as in, on, under, and at they are preposition. Let us recall the definition of preposition. Preposition are the words which shows the position of something. And they are used before the nouns and pronouns and it shows the relation with the other words in the sentence. Now look at this beautiful monkey over here. Monkey has lost something. 
नाउ यू रीड ही हैज लॉस समथिंग कुछ गुम हो गया है उसका वेयर हैव आई पुट इट वेयर कुड इट बी कहाँ हो सकता है मैंने कहाँ रखा है और वो कहाँ हो सकता है सो इट इज़ नॉट ऑन द वॉल वॉल पर नहीं है नो इट इज़ नॉट अंडर द वॉल वॉल के नीचे भी नहीं है ओ इट इज़ नॉट इन माई पॉकेट मेरी पॉकेट में भी नहीं है नो नो इट इज़ नॉट बिहाइंड द हाउस हाउस के पीछे भी नहीं है इट इज़ नॉट देयर बिटवीन माई फिंगर्स मेरी उंगलियों के बीच में भी नहीं है इट इज़ नॉट टू बी फाउंड एनी वेयर वो तो कहीं भी नहीं है नो दीज द वर्ड विच आर इन बोल्ड ब्लैक दीज आर दी प्रिपोजिशंस दीज आर दी प्रिपोजिशंस लेट एस रिकॉल लेट एस रीड दिस वंस अगेन वेयर हैव आई पुट इट इट कुड बी इट मी इट इज़ नॉट देयर ऑन दी वॉल न इट इज नॉट अंडर दी पेट ओ इट इज नॉट इन माई पॉकेट ओ नो इट इज नॉट बिहाइंड द हाउस It is not there between my fingers. It is not to be found anywhere. So these are the prepositions which are telling us the position of something. What the monkey has lost. Fine. I hope you have understood. So this is your homework also. What you have to do is try to enjoy doing homework. Fine. You should enjoy while doing homework. Make a tree of preposition by showing different preposition on it. You have to make a beautiful tree of preposition. You can take a chart or a four size sheet and make a beautiful tree of preposition. And put you can take the shape of mangoes and put at least ten preposition on it. Paste them. Find right? ten preposition in the shape of mango. You can paste on it. Now this is the book exercise which in is given in your book only let me tell you the book number also just wait for a second the book number page number is it is page number 66 page number 66 and it is exercise number 1 fine circle the prepositions in the following sentences so let us start circle the preposition in the following sentences you need to circle them where the preposition is fine uh it's over here yeah an aeroplane is flying over the trees you have to find the position of the aeroplane the sweets are in the box where the sweets are he is standing in front of the gate where the person is she is standing between ayush and idil adil where the girl is standing mahak is hiding her bag behind her coat where mahak is hiding her bag you need to tell the position of that place the bird is above the clouds above preposition is used when the distance is more fine so the next is you all can look at this picture there is a elephant there are two boys there is a giraffe there is a tigress tigress there is a girl also four boys are there now what you have to do is you have to look that picture carefully the previous picture which i have shown you this picture and you have to fill them fill in the blanks fine first is the children are dash the zoo where the children are sorry children are the elephant is dash the big cage where the elephant is the tiger is dash the small cage some boys are standing dash the tigress and giraffe's cage you can look over here where the boys are standing next is a small boy and a girl are standing dash of the giraffe's cage this is the giraffe and where the small boy and the girl is standing fine last sentence is the tigress cage is dash the elephant's cage and the giraffe's cage the tigress cage is dash the elephant's cage and the giraffe's cage so first of all what you need to do is you need to learn the preposition learn them by heart then make use of the preposition in the sentences and understand the meaning of the preposition you need to use you have to learn the use of the particular preposition 
let us once recall the prepositions which i have taught you fine see these are the main prepositions first is on on means par kisi cheez par the owl is on the box under ke niche next to uske saath bilkul next in front ke samne behind ke piche between do ke beech mein around uske charo taraf through uske dwara kisi cheez ke dwara pass hona so in your syllabus also there are only few preposition not much and you just go through those preposition only let me tell you what prepositions are there in your syllabus it is in on under in front of above above means ke upar when the distance is more and over when the distance is less below niche kisi surface ke niche between do ke beech mein बिहाइंड के पीछे किसी चीज के पीछे नियर मीन्स पास नियर मीन्स पास सो प्रिपोजिशन आर द वर्ड्स विच टेल्स आज द रिलेशन इट शोज द रिलेशन ऑफ विद मीन्स अदर वर्ड्स इन द सेंटेंस एंड इट टेल्स आज द पोजिशन ऑफ समथिंग एंड इट इज यूज विद इट इज यूज बिफोर अ नाउन और अ प्रोनाउन दैट्स इट सो वी आर गोइंग टू मीट इट इन द क्लास so you need to complete this homework of yours fine this is the homework this is exercise number 1 and this is exercise number 2 that's it for today thank you